What is unique about SALW? When we think about the use of weapons on a global scale, our minds might first jump to images such as these. And though weapons of mass destruction are without a doubt incredibly lethal, the ones that can fit into pockets must equally require our attention. SALW, which stands for Small Arms and Light Weapons, or any weapon that can be used by one person, are particularly dangerous not in spite of, but because of their size. The compact scale of these arms places the possibility of violence directly in the hands of the individual. The ease of obtainment coupled with the ease of operation makes for a deadly and widespread crisis. In nine states across America, for an individual to legally purchase a small arm in a licensed retail store, there are no checking of permits, no licenses, no background checks, no legal requirements, and no training requirements. The FBI provided a background check known as the NICS, used in certain states that takes a mere 30 seconds. It can be faulty and often leaves out imperative information gone unreported by local police. It does not verify if one struggles with addiction or mental illness. This means that even with a record for just over $100, a consumer could walk out of a store with a gun in a matter of minutes. Outside of licensed retail stores, a consumer can purchase a gun at flea markets or in pawn shops, trading in other valuables as collateral or at gun shows, all for bargain prices and from unlicensed sellers. In addition to this, a consumer can trade through the underground market, be gifted a small arm from a friend or relative, steal, or more commonly straw purchase, and sidestep the background check by having another eligible person purchase the gun for them at the licensed retail store. Small arms and light weapons are inexpensive. They are easy to acquire legally and illegally. They are easy to find, easy to buy, and easy to hide. In 13 states, individuals can carry concealed weapons in public without a license or permit. And in 37 states, individuals can carry an open handgun in public without a license or permit. Because small arms and light weapons are easy to conceal, they are easy to bring into any situation. And because they are so easy to operate, both by mistake and intent, a small arm in private or public space instantly makes any scenario a much more risky and much more lethal one. 4.6 million children live in homes with an unlocked and loaded gun, while accidental shootings make up for just 1.3% of total gun-related deaths, they are most common amongst individuals 25 years or younger. Out of the yearly 36,383 gun-related deaths in America, children account for 1,500 of these. When small arms become involved in any activity, whether that is domestic abuse, random or organized crime, militia groups, or domestic and foreign terrorism, violence increases and becomes more severe. For example, in the United States, women are 21 times more likely to be killed with a gun than in other high-income countries where guns are far fewer. Also, when small arms are implicated in domestic abuse, women become five times more likely to be killed by the abuser. And in the United States, for every 100 people, there are 120 guns. If we want to protect lives and build a safer and more peaceful world, we will need to regulate SALW at every stage of their life cycle. To find out more about the importance of the SALW life cycle and why the world struggles to regulate it, check out the next video in this series.